God of heaven and earth, make our spirits spacious enough for hope, for confidence in your vision of love. But brothers and sisters, the house is on fire and it's time to wake up and get bold. Religious liberals and religious conservatives have something in common. They're nostalgic for days that are never coming back. In almost every congregation, there's a small number of people who are holding everybody else hostage with some money. And, and what happens is everybody's afraid that if we offend one or two people, one or two families, uh, if we say something they don't like, um, then we're going to go out of business. And can I tell you something? No one who's walking on eggshells has ever been bold. What does your local church need to be more effective in its ministry? We need to be a little more daring. I think that the social interactions and the conversations that can happen in safe places are so much more powerful than what you can just do inside your own head and in your own spirit. Not that those aren't important things too, <laughs> they are of course, but um, real power and real impact can come from a community. So to talk about the differences and learn from those in a cosmopolitan approach uh, to really reconcile our differences and learn even more. You know, what to do next? How can we create uh, safe and brave spaces? You know, because it's not, being just a safe space isn't enough. You know, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't require us to do anything that we don't want to do. So it's how can we uh, transgress from a safe space to a brave space. And so, again, you can say, we got a lot of older people. That's really a hindrance. Hindrance is in your mind. You get some older people who get bold. Older and bolder is a good combination. Ask God, how could I be bolder? What is hindering me or my church? What stands in our way? Write down on the piece of paper whatever it is that hinders you 